Cortina, one of my favourites, obviously, a Mark IV Cortina. When I was sort of mm, 12, early teens, 12, 13, 14, um, all I wanted was a two litre gear Cortina. All I wanted, either a Mark IV or a Mark V. A friend of mine, a bit older than me, had a, a red Mark IV, two litre gear. And um, it was it was the car to have then. But then by the time I'd got to, towards driving age, you know, 16, 17, uh, XR3s had sort of taken over really, and all I wanted then was an XR3. So come from the same stable, same family. We've done the filming with the car. We had a fantastic few hours down there. Um, this was uh, the husband's car. That, the Capri, was the wife's car. Don't think this was bought new. Again, I just have to go through the paperwork. Um, and it's, it's showing, and the family feel it's correct, but we've got to do a little bit of homework, and I suggest you guys do as well. 18,000 miles. Now, the door cards, still got plastic on here, look. Still got the original plastic on there. So the door cards... Yeah, exactly. The so the cabins, are really good. the dash, the sunroof, the grain on the steering wheel, the pedals, all tend to suggest it's correct. Now it's obviously got a little bit of bathroom carpet over, over, uh, on top of the original carpet. But look, I bet it's right, you know. I think it will be. I think it will be. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will be. Yeah. Look at them door shuts. It's I obviously know. been Sorry not zybarted, I don't think. There's a sticker on the back here that it's this other company that oh, car, car shield. shield. Yeah, same type of thing. Uh headlining's lovely as well. Yeah, and look at the seat. I know there's a little bit of sagginess in the seat, but they did sag. They did stretch or not sagginess, but look, I think it'll be right. I think it is. Now I can remember your grand sorry, your great granddad, granddad's dad. Uh, my hero really I can remember him washing these seats um, because he could get them to shrink and, and and he would wash these seats for your granddad when when they were working together uh, back in the 70s and 80s and he would wash these yeah, seats granddad always said if you wet vacuum they just tend to st shrink up a little yeah bit and he afterwards. would he, and he mm. would get them he would do them by hand mainly and he would get them to shrink and they would tighten back up again so I'm sure that's doable but yeah, leave the seat covers on as they are at the moment. Um, and then underneath the bonnet. There you go. Now oh, that, yeah. that looks right, doesn't That's it? That's right. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, look, still got the paper sticker on the air box there. Obviously, all oh, this is all correct, obviously. Yeah, now that looks, even still got a little bit yeah. of sponge around there. Now, and and obviously none of these have been off. It's still got the sticker, still got the original rivets on there. So that's never been touched. So. I think this deserves cleaning up properly, you know. Yeah. You'd have to be quite sympathetic with it, wouldn't you'd you? You'd have to be careful, but it mm -hmm. warrants cleaning up big time. It wants, it wants a, yeah, a, a massive clean to start with. And then you may have to do one or two little bits, but. The more you look round it, in actual fact, the less you'll have to do. Yeah. And before we sign off with the video, just stick it underneath, because the underneath is just is as it? lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's quite deceiving, actually, isn't it, with its looks? It is, because you first walk up to it, and it looks like a an old Cortina. stereotypical Cortina, uh, and yeah. And then you spend a bit of time around it, and more importantly, you stick your nose in and smell mm. it. And then you open the engine bay, and then you look at the speedo, and then you look at the door cards, and then you look at the pedal rubbers, and then you, and then all the time you, you, you're clicking away and you're thinking, no, nah, this is something quite nice. This is, you know, um, so, yeah. Now, and in there, look, yeah, still got these. These were quite rare. Look, they've still got the original plastic covers on there. That one's putting back on properly, obviously. Look, the jack still in its rubber mm. holder there. Is there anything I would like to see? Yeah, I would like to have seen that not on. Yeah. So it's still got, it's still got, I think that's the original, an original tyre. Because mm. they came out with, um, with these, um, these tyres on. Obviously, the, the, uh, you can see what it is. Oh, no, hang on a minute. That's the wrong pattern. Oh, no, no. It's, it's the right pattern, but the wrong. Mm, I thought that was a Dunlop. Yeah, strange that, isn't it? 
But is it a... Oh yeah, it is a Rostal. Hmm. Yeah, strange that, isn't it? Clutch cable again, look. Set she must have gone through some clutches in the past. Yeah, it might, yeah. <laughs> but boot floor's mint, look. But yeah, yeah, that's strange that, isn't it? Hmm, I thought that was a Dunlop. I just glanced and saw that was an original Dunlop, but it's not. Heavenly's. Yeah, I've probably got on the plate. No. Oh, this was a private plate he had put on. TAL391. That's so bad, fitness. Yeah, look at that. That was for, um, that was for, family could remember, that was for a little garden trailer that he had to do chip runs with. Yeah, hence the, hence the strange yeah. um, setup, you know, the strange, obviously not a 50 mil, 50 mil bill at ball. Uh, and apparently had the trailer stolen one night and it was absolutely gutted, which you would be, wouldn't you? But what an unusual towage. So I don't know who, someone who, you know, who stole it. It's not as if you, everyone's running around with them towages, is it, sir? But this is the nice thing. This is what makes you just think a bit. Things like they've still got the plastic mm. covers on there. Just little things like that that you don't immediately register. But as you said, the more time you spend around it and you keep spotting all these things, you think, oh yeah, that and this and that and the covers. Yeah. And again, did you show underneath? Yeah. yeah it's look, at it on the back of the look at that. And uh, when it was on the back of the lorry, obviously it's this side, isn't it? And glanced underneath it and thought, I don't think you're going to get a better underside than a Mark IV Cortina. I really don't. But anyway, it is what it is. It's here now. The paperwork again is up in the office. Got to do a bit of homework on the car. I'll do a bit of homework because I'm interested uh, in it as well. Um, obviously, just such a shame that Bill's no longer with us. Um, because he could obviously tell us a lot more, couldn't he? And the dementia's kicked in, so we can't get that info. But nonetheless, it is what it is. It's the most genuine Mark IV Cortina I've seen for a long, long time. Yeah, and I just think it would be a really interesting and a really rewarding project for someone to take on. Again, obviously we followed both cars with the Bangers and Cash crew. Um, so we obviously want to follow them coming in and follow them going out. I haven't had them running, but let's face it, if you can't get a, a Pinto running or a, or a crossblow, then to be fair, you, you, well, you're a bit of a lunatic, aren't you, in all fairness? I mean, there's no reason why you can't get one of them running, can it? Um, so, yeah, there you go. So come down, have a look. You may even buy the pair. Keep them, as a, keep them together. It would be lovely to keep them in the same garage together again, wouldn't it? Um, but there you go. That's all I know. The next step is to come down and have a look.